Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're focusing on do-it-yourself hand and foot treatments. Now, I usually try to get gel manicures, but I like to try to make them last as long as possible. So I will trim my cuticles and do various treatments, but I'm testing out some new DIYs today and I wanted to share them with you on my channel. So let's get started and start with some foot treatments. If you're gonna be giving yourself a pedicure or someone else a pedicure, um, you can do a foot bath. And you can buy foot baths, they're kind of expensive, um, but you can also just get a large bowl. You can add some rocks to the bottom if you want so it's not as slippy, and then add some warm water. Put some baking soda and Epsom salt in the bath, and that will create kind of um, yeah, basically a cleanser for your feet and a de-stinkifier as well. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's a really good foot treatment. You can see it's already kind of starting to bubble. You can add um, flower petals if you want. Totally optional. It's just for looks. Um, if you're giving someone else a pedicure, you can add eucalyptus essential oil too as well to it. So for the nice smell. And then you're going to place your feet in there and let them soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're going to do a DIY callus treatment. So today we're doing a DIY callus treatment, which is basically an acidic mask that you're going to put on your feet to help dissolve the calluses on your feet. So what you have is um, some smashed up strawberries, some lemon, and some honey. And the lemon and the strawberries um, contain acid, citric, and salicylic. And then you have the honey, which is going to be hydrating. And you're going to basically apply that onto the heels of your feet or wherever you have callus on your feet. Some people have them on their toes. And um, I'm just kind of dipping my heel in there. And I have saran wrap on the towel and then I'm going to wrap the saran wrap with the treatment around my feet and let that soak on my feet for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, remove off your feet. Put your feet back into the foot soak to remove the mask off of your feet. So once the acidity has had a chance to kind of settle into the callus, it's gonna soften that. So I'm using a callus remover. I'm using the Amopay, which you can find at drugstores like Target. And this one right now is supposed to be one of the better ones on the market. Um, I do wish it was a little bit stronger, but I think they have a few different options you can choose from. But it definitely is nice for making a pedicure last longer and not having to go back as often. And it really smooths out the area. So next we're gonna do just a final polish after with um, a do-it-yourself foot scrub and this is going to be a peppermint foot scrub which is really invigorating for your feet and you can also bring it up to your legs as well it's really easy it's equal parts coconut oil which i love coconut oil it can be used for virtually anything as you saw in my last video i used it for my hair you can use it for your body and then i'm going to be using epsom salt if you don't have epsom salt you can use sea salt for this scrub um, or sugar if you wanted to and then peppermint oil which is again very invigorating and all these treatments are going to hopefully help your feet smell and look and feel really nice so I'm using a little bit of this scrub and then you can also bring it up your legs as well and down your toes and just really massage it and then I'm going to obviously um, wet my feet a little bit and then dry it all off Believe it or not, cuticle removing is controversial in the pedicure world, but I've always been a really big fan of it because I like the way it makes my hands and feet look much cleaner. And I've had this tweezer man tool for a really long time and I do trim my cuticles. You have to be really careful when you are trimming your cuticles, obviously so that you don't cut yourself. But I do regularly trim my cuticles myself. And then I'm making a DIY butter foot treatment. This is like a foot treatment bar. And um, I'm making this with shea butter, almond oil, coconut, and then you can use a um, essential oil of your choice. Basically, you wanna add this to a saucepan and let it all melt together. And then um, I'm gonna pour it in molds and let it harden. And basically, that's gonna create a kind of like a lotion bar, if you will. Once it's had a chance to completely cool, you'll notice that it turns solid. 
and then you can um, use it as a lotion bar and it melts with the warmth of your hand and so I'm using it on my feet and it's really hydrating and moisturizing you can put some socks on and go to sleep um, after you've used this treatment so yeah that completes the treatments for your feet next we're gonna move on to our hands now normally you can soak your fingers but since I have a gel manicure I just want to avoid it from lifting so I'm just gonna wash my hands first with the um, intensive liquid hand soap that I have it's a uh, intensive moisturizing liquid hand soap rather and it's shea butter and it's also antibacterial so it's moisturizing and then I'm gonna use a nail brush to just clean out my nails um, another tip too to protect your manicure is when you're doing the dishes or any sort of house cleaning make sure that you use gloves and that'll really help keep your hands a lot softer and cleaner looking um, but I do like to clean out um, my nails especially if you have a lighter color you'll notice that a brush will really help keep your nails looking clean so Next, I'm making a DIY cuticle oil treatment. Super easy to make. Um, I'm using some vitamin E oil, but if you have olive oil, you can certainly use that instead, and also coconut oil. And then I'm gonna be using some essential oils. Um, I think I'm using here peppermint, eucalyptus, lavender, and grapefruit. Um, but you can use just one or two. You can kind of do whatever you want, which is the really cool thing about any of these. You can totally customize them. I keep it in the refrigerator just because it's fresh ingredients um, but yeah you can use this on your hands but it's especially great for softening your cuticles before you push them back or trim them and like I said I do like to trim my cuticles and so that's what I'm gonna do right now So finally, I'm gonna make a DIY hand cream. I'm using some essential oils, the grapefruit and orange, and it smelled really, really good. I liked this. Um, on a double boiler, I'm basically taking cocoa butter um, and some almond oil, some beeswax, and two of my essential oils. You can use um, basically any essential oil that you want to in any of these recipes, whatever ones that you have. I've kind of been collecting them, and I have a, a bunch of different brands. There's a few brands, unfortunately, that I'm not allowed to. Um, use on my YouTube channel um, because of FDA which is kind of unfortunate but I would suggest doing your own research about essential oils and which ones that you want to use I'm just using the ones that you can get at Whole Foods which are pretty accessible and um, easy to find but again if you're interested in that definitely do your own research on essential oils um, but I'm adding grapefruit and orange and I think that that's a really nice combination for a hand cream I'm gonna let that sit again with um, any of these hand creams you kind of have to let them sit once they've melted um, and then once the room temperature you can uh, notice that it will, will become more solidified or like a cream and you can use that on your hands and um, you can also use gloves or do this before you go to sleep for an intensive hand treatment um, but yeah, that completes this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Check out my last two videos. And I have another channel I'm kind of launching and restarting that um, is a huge passion project of mine. So check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.